Next on the list is Mr. J. Manuel. How was mm -hmm. he? Your time on Top Model. Um, I feel like we would. Um, I know we got into our little tiff on uh, on my last episode, I guess. But actually, I feel like in he's a diva and dramatic, and I love it. But like, I feel like actually we would be friends in real life. Like, if we were to be like. I think, like, because he's so tough and, like, kind of snarky a little bit that I would, like, gravitate towards it. Like, I would like it as a friend, like, having a friend in my group like like him. Like, I think we would have a lot of fun together. But on the show, we, like, definitely butted heads in a sense of I was just super frustrated. Like, it just was, it wasn't even about him. I was just, like, I'm on a horse and you're not letting me move. Like, he would not let me move. No one on set would let me move. Like I couldn't do other poses. I couldn't do anything because they were so worried about me falling off the horse and like maybe breaking my other leg or like injuring my leg more. So that photo shoot, I was so upset because I wanted to do more. Like I was like, this is not good. Like I'm just sitting here and I can only change my face so many times. And like, there's no other poses that I could like physically do that I was allowed to do. And so I think that was the biggest frustration. It wasn't even him. I was just like, this is bullshit. Like yeah. I want to do, I need to do more. Like this is not going to be like, I didn't no. even like it. Like I was like, I don't like it. Like I don't want to do this. Like, and that as I think like, the whole fight that we got into. Cause he was like, more, more, give me more in your face, in your face. And I was just like, there's only just so much my face can do where your body and your emotions and your actions make a lot of the picture. Like your face can be beautiful and incredible and it looks nice. But like, if you're not, you know, incorporating everything into the entire picture, I mean, it just is like, I was like this, like, I don't even like it. Like, mm -hmm. I don't like it. And I'm the person modeling. Like, so, and he was getting frustrated that I was upset. Like, I was very upset on that, on that shoot day. And I get it. Like, everyone's like, oh, you have to go through it. You're on set. You're doing a photo shoot. And it's like, yeah, and I did. I did the whole thing. And I did my job. But still, at the end of the day, like, I'm also the model. I'm also the talent. And, like, mm -hmm. I wanted to do more. And that's just not how you're treated on set either. I was also like, honestly, I've never even been treated like this before. And I've been on a lot of sets and I've worked really hard on sets and I've done plenty of commercials. I've done plenty of editorial shoots before America's Next Top Model. So that's like the other thing. I was like, I know what it's like to be treated on set. And like, this is not it. Like, you're not treating me the way a talent would be treated on set. So I just was upset about that whole day of like, we're in a limo for eight hours. You can't talk. You're waiting. No talking. So you're just like silent the whole day. And, you know, then you're like the last to go on the photo shoot. You've been there for 12 hours all day. And okay. I mean, you know, on with the show. But like, and now you're yelling at me that I'm not athletic enough. You know, <laughs> like, I'm just like, yeah. I, I, you were over like, it. You were over it. I was so over it. I was just like, you know what? I'm done. I don't want to be treated like this anymore. Like, this is, like, not fun for me. Like, I don't want to be treated like this. Like, I was just like, just take my photo. <laughs> take it and, like, let's get me off this horse, like, right now. Like, I want to be off. You were and they saying were just that? like, Yeah, I was just like, I want to, I'm, like, done. I want to be done. Oh. I, I just... I just didn't feel like it was, I don't know. I just shouldn't have been treated like that. That's just, you know, how I kind of felt uh, being on set. And, like, I think when you know how you're supposed to be treated, like, you're kind of just like, mm, do I need to go through this? Like, not really. Not and really. I can't really. I can't really do anything. It's not really my fault. Like, I want... I want to, I want to be, I want to be doing a handstand on this freaking horse, you know, like I want to be doing something cool and something athletic that I know I could do. So when you're told you're not allowed to do anything, like I have to follow, you know, the production guidelines in a sense. Yeah. 